All right. That's one more thing taken care of. I, every once in a while, people in the house give me stuff to shred. So I shred it. I enjoy shredding things. What, um... I was gonna ask when was the last time I opened this and like, apparently it's fine. Anyway, that's not what I want to talk about today. So, uh, originally I was supposed to be off today. I was gonna take the time, I was gonna go do some work in the garage because that's still not done. Uh, but that fell by the wayside. You wanna know why? Because work sucks. <laughs> uh, so generally, when we get deliveries, it's a, a small team that's the group that usually does it. It'll be myself, uh, this woman, Sharon, and a couple who is uh, technically above me. She's the merch manager, whereas I'm an operations manager, so she's technically above me. Um, and then a couple of regular employees, uh, regular associates, right? So. On Monday, we had asked this guy, Ben, to um, come help us with truck because we needed, we knew we were going to need the help. And one of the people that were scheduled was likely not going to come. I was scheduled to be off because, uh, as you will, as a, I don't know if I've talked about this, Mom and Joe are growing out of town starting tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So I, um, kind of needed to either be off or working only mornings for the next couple days. So uh, my boss, she uh, scheduled me to open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, left me off on Wednesday. That was a mistake. Uh, um, because, because I wasn't scheduled, I didn't get up and I didn't go in because I wasn't planning on being in because I wasn't scheduled. So we had the person we expected not to show didn't show. We had another guy get woken up by a phone call and be like, oh crap, sorry, I'm on my way. And then never show. So it was me, Sharon, and this guy, Ben. If we didn't have Ben, I would not have been able to make it in in any sort of timely manner because, uh, he came and picked me up just to make it quick. So, yeah, it's it's, it's rough. <laughs> it's rough. So that added three extra hours to my timesheet for the week. So, end of the week is gonna be a bit uh a bit tight. We'll see how that goes. But I was exhausted because of this. What can I say? So this is the freeloader that I got at the convention last week. And I have my GameCube set up here on the Star Tech. Let me actually see if the signal goes through. All right, let's try to figure this out, shall we? Yeah, there we go. All I have to do is plug it in. So let me actually turn you back off, grab a controller, and put the disc in. Okay, according to the instruction manual, all I have to do is put it in, turn it on, let it load, and follow the prompts. The disc could not be read. Outstanding. So I've just been sitting here trying discs, and right now I'm trying Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. And this one worked. So, so far, um, I've had two, uh, discs not work, and they were the freeloader disc, um, which is not that big a deal because it, um, I could probably find another copy, and hopefully for cheap. Um, but the bigger issue is the Jirachi bonus disc for Coliseum is not currently working, so I have to, like, look at that and, and see what I can do with it. Hopefully it's not hard to, uh, get fixed. Hello, welcome to Thursday. Um, 
I was tired yesterday, so that's part of why it was so, like, all over the place. But, um, on top of that, uh, I had the first open... That's part of my chair. I don't know what happened. I think it's from that. Get back in there. Stay this time. Anyway, today was the first of the opening shifts, right? And I realized, or rather I got reminded because it's been a while, uh, Opening shifts drag very, very, like, long and slowly. Um, so the store opens at 8 a.m. So I get scheduled for half an hour before that. So 7.30. Um, to be there from 7.30 till the closer comes in, which is, like, 2. That drags quite a bit. And now, mind you, uh, I'm used to, like the hour count, because it's only, like, seven, seven and a half hours, uh, I think. So, I'm used to that amount of time. But the fact that it's, um... I think the fact that it's that early in the morning makes it feel like it's a lot slower. That's the thing. <laughs> um, so, it, it's just definitely, like, tiring in a different way. I don't know. I'll see how I feel after these couple of days, but I'm definitely, um... I'm definitely happy to be, like, able to sleep in again. When is my next day off? Tuesday? Tuesday. Can't even sleep in Tuesday. God damn it. I'll figure it out. Alright. Whatever. I don't have much else. I just wanted to complain about being tired. What else is new? I know. I wanted to make something inexpensive and easy to make for dinner, so we're having chicken nuggets and mac and cheese. A classic. So I learned something today. Because I was chilling in, uh, uh, in, uh, VC on Discord with a couple of friends, and we went to go play GTA. Which is something we haven't played in a while, mind you. Uh, but I learned that for some reason, my PS5 controller does not work with the PC version of GTA V. And that's really weird to me. Because by all means, it should. Because it's the same game. Uh, and it, it worked with everything else I tried it with, including the, uh, the Hardware Checker website. So, like... I don't get it. <laughs> why Why is it not working? Um, it makes no sense to me why it would not work. So I guess I can look into that and see if I can figure out why it doesn't want to work. But, like, it, it really doesn't make sense that it wouldn't. Especially because there is a PS5 version of the game. I have it sitting on my shelf right there. Um... So, I don't know. Definitely something to look into. Definitely weird. But it was nice to, to sit with everybody, so... Can't be all bad. I thought I got all the water out of here, but I didn't, and now it's splashing violently. <laughs> I just want to make my burgers, man. Help. I have successfully managed to get the burgers into the frying pan. Hopefully there are no more, uh, mishaps. Burgers. They're a little bit more done than I wanted them to be, but they still taste good. I'm in the middle of stream, right? And the cat keeps meowing, and I don't know why. And of course, as soon as I get the camera, it doesn't want to do it. Yeah, I'm talking about you. 
What are you gonna do about it? You're not sure if you want the water. Okay. Hello, welcome to Sunday. So I've been working on some stuff. And I'm going to show you what that is. So this is the YouTube studio for the bot channel. And you can see here, I've started uploading Xenoblade 2. Which is like the biggest remaining old game that hasn't been released yet, and I have up to part 11 already scheduled. And now I'm not 100% sure on, like, how I want to, um, release them. Currently I'm starting on May 1st and releasing every other day. If I get enough of them done before the trip, which I might, um, it really depends on how busy I get. But I might change it to be every day instead of every other day, just to get them all out. Because I, there are still a few uh, games that I played on stream that haven't come out onto the bot channel yet. But most of them don't. Um, most of them are like shorter, significantly. So, so I can get those out a lot faster than I have been with Xenoblade. Because Xenoblade 1 was 17, Xenoblade 2, it's like 20-something before the final boss. So, the fact that I have 11 done, my goal right now is to finish the main story before the trip. And if I, anything I get more than that, it's just a bonus. So, hopefully, that goes well and I can get that out before I get backed up again. And then after that, it should mostly be downhill. And then ideally, I'll get completely caught up fairly quickly, preferably before the end of the year. I think I said at the goal video at the beginning of this year that my goal is to get them all out. So that would be great. If I'm completely caught up on VODs, I can start releasing them as they happen. <laughs> Plus, you know, it makes it easier to sit down and edit other stuff like... I have Golf With Your Friends that we recorded that I haven't edited yet. I have more Uno that I haven't edited yet. All of Pikmin is, like, recorded live, but as a Let's Play. So that needs to be edited. I still have Persona 4 to edit. So I have, I have a lot on my plate. And I've been keeping up with the vlog, which is, like, a big thing for me. But all of that needs a lot of love, too. And hopefully I'm able to get it done fairly soon. So I don't know if you can hear the bird outside, but there is a bird outside even though it is nighttime. Very weird. Anyway, I want to show you something. So recently, Apple finally allowed this app onto the App Store. It is called Delta. Uh, it is an emulator. I want to show you what I've been playing. I have been playing Pokemon. Specifically, our gold. And the good thing about this is that because it's on my phone, I can pretty much check in with it whenever I have time. But I have a team of four right now. Uh, this was my starter, obviously. Caught this right outside Violet City, caught this here in Sprout Tower, and then caught this, um... This was the egg from that guy in the Pokemon Center. And the fact that I have it on my phone and can 
pick up, play a couple minutes, and then put it back down. Uh, honestly, when it comes to DS games, that's probably gonna be an easy way for me to, like, get through some of the games that I've wanted to play over the years, because, like I said, pick up, play a couple minutes, put down. Very easy to, uh, to handle. So, I'm, uh, I'm gonna keep playing that and I'll update you on it every now and again. But for now, I'm right, bef I'm right before the boss of Sprout Tower, so. Uh, not too far in, but not, like, at the very beginning. So, definitely nice to, to have access to that. And one of the many benefits to having easy access to something like an emulator. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Apple finally let it on, even if it was, like, their hand being forced. And honestly, sometimes they do need their hand forced. Case in point, lightning. Yeah, definitely need to, uh, definitely needed that upgrade to USB C. Anyway, that's all I got for, for now. Um, I guess I could go, like, show off more of the Pokemon that I have there. So, yeah, my Bell Sprout I caught right before, uh, Violet City. It's only level 11 currently, so it doesn't have the greatest stats. I got this Marip that just hatched, my Cyndaquil, which is level 12, and this Ghastly that I just caught. So it's looking like it's gonna be an alright playthrough. I don't recall... I don't recall ever using this specific combination of Pokemon before, and I'm, every time I play through the games I try to use something I've never used before, which is very hit or miss, because it's very easy to, like, fall into the trappings of your favorite Pokemon, but I always try to use something I've never used before. So, hopefully it, uh, the playthrough continues comfortably. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Tuesday. So I did a stream today, this morning, uh, and it was the final Pikmin 2 stream. Pikmin 2, the dumpster fire that it is, uh, is finally over. <laughs> Which, I love Pikmin as a series. I love the first game, I love the third game. I kinda, I, I, I do like the fourth game, though I haven't finished everything in it. But Pikmin 2, is just not fun, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, with all the random generation, all of the, um, the bullcrap traps, the fact that you can get hit by a bomb that you should, vi that you're visually out of range of, uh, floor generation that routinely puts enemies already on top of you when you spawn. It, it's just not fun. And honestly, I did better than I expected, but it, it just wasn't pleasant to, to play. So I'm glad it's over. And when I do finally get to Pikmin 3, I'm gonna have so much better at a time. And uh, a friend of mine, one of my mods, Nikhil, um, he continues... I don't show how much I'm enjoying something because of a, uh, a lot of, like, past instances of people just not caring. So, subconsciously, I just started going, why should I care? Or why should I, like, there's no point in showing if nobody's gonna care. So, I tend to keep my, like, opinions on things to myself. And that comes through with streams a lot of the time because it'll seem like I'm not enjoying something that I am enjoying. A lot of Persona 5, he thought I didn't enjoy it, thought I didn't like a lot of things that I did actually like. So, I, I he had to step away during the stream, so he wasn't there for all of it. So I told him, go back and watch the rest of it. You will see me genuinely hating something. And it's like, yeah, genuinely, I 
do not like Pikmin 2. Pikmin 2 is a... Pikmin 2 is a dumpster fire. <laughs> and not in the fun way. But, it's over. <laughs> I don't have to think about it pretty much ever again. <sighs> and I'm glad about that. Because that means... Beh. <laughs> but, that beautiful news uh, finally put to rest. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I will see you next week. Thank you.